Hey guys, so you remember the guy who stole 103 million from Absa? Kolela Masebe. He and his wife spent 200,000 at Gucci and Louis Vuitton store Joburg. Now that the couple is trying to apply for bail, a lot of stuff are coming out and some of these things show. Some of the things we know now is that this guy transferred 17 million to his wife's bank account and he transferred 9.5 million to his own bank account. To be exact, they spent 160k at Louis Vuitton and 132k at Gucci in one day, just one day shop for designer clothes. 103 millionaire. So some of the money were sent to other people. They are not named yet, but there are other accounts belonging to other individuals that have received a lot of money, like an account that received 59 million which is a bank account of someone who is probably his friend. We don't know, but we will find out soon. The same guy who received 59 million in his bank account, in his business bank account, also received 15 million in his personal bank account. So Kolela, in his own word, in his affidavit, he told the police that he was earning 52k a month. And he said he didn't own any property. The guy also owned three cars including the 2019 Land Rover Discover. That car cost at least 500000 and a Volvo D3. So his wife, who said she's unemployed, also owned two vehicles, a BMW 3 Series. They're saying the car is worth 700000 and a Nissan Micra. So yeah, it was revealed that the guy was lying about not owning any properties because he actually owned two properties in Western Cape. One of those properties is worth 700000 The other one is worth nearly 600000 They are all in his name. So they've managed to froze his assets, properties and money to the amount of $34 million. And $68 million is still on the loose. But they are tracking it at the moment. So I guess we will find out what happened to it. So apparently this guy was also building in his hometown. And he was careful a bit with that because they asked the hardware where he was buying materials. And the hardware people say this guy always refused free delivery he insists that he will deliver he will come and collect his material himself to avoid them knowing exactly where the materials were being delivered to so he has a ghost house which tell us that this guy already know that he could be he would be found so that's it for now about this guy it's not looking good at all for him and his wife it's not looking good so thank you for watching and tell me what you think about this video guys